Welcome to the African Leadership Series, where we bring you great inspirational speeches of African leaders. The Africa we want may never be realized if we turn our backs on our cults, culture, customs, and heritage. Furthermore, to re-echo South Africa's foreign minister, we must intensify our efforts at retrieving our looted cultural treasures, which are being housed in the museums of the nations that stole them from us, and making money for, for them instead of for us. Come what may, whatever the obstacles, we must get them back. And come. The African Union has chosen arts, culture, and heritage, levers for building the Africa we want, as its theme for the year, which is extremely commendable. A continent is divine, defined by many things. It is defined by its history to an extent. It is defined by its geography to an extent. It is defined by its economy to an extent. It is defined by many other things. However, nothing defines a continent more than the arts, culture, customs, heritage, and tradition and its traditions. Aspiration five of Agenda 2063 which see, quote, an Africa with a strong cultural identity, common heritage, shared values and ethics, unquote, enjoins us to promote the history, identity, heritage, and consciousness of African peoples and their diaspora. It further encourages us to tap into Africa's rich heritage and culture to ensure that the creative arts are major contributors to Africa's growth and transformation. Even whilst we are proud of our history, our culture, and our arts, we must recognize the forces of change and modernization that are knocking insistently on our doors. Too often, modernization has been seen as synonymous with westernization. But modernization is not necessarily the same as westernization. As the experiences of the Asian tigers have shown, nations can modernize in their own way, borrowing from outside whilst maintaining the essentials of their own culture. Today, Japan, for example, is a very successful modern nation, but it is not Western. The success or failure of our modernization will be determined largely by how well we preserve what is good about our culture whilst modifying the aspects that no longer suit our needs. As we dedicate this year to the promotion of Africa's arts, culture, and heritage against the background of increasing global expression of interests and investments in the sector, we should use the occasion to promote the patenting of Africa's creative design to protect intellectual property folklore and traditional knowledge and adopt other methods to protect us against counterfeiting and piracy. I encourage all others to emulate the laudable examples of those countries which have committed themselves to the process of restoration. To this end, I had the honor two weeks ago to cut the sword for the construction of a Pan-African World Heritage Museum near Winneba in the central region of Ghana which is intended to house artifacts and cultural objects from all parts of the Pan-African world. When it opens its doors to the world, it will be a major contributor to our ability to imbibe a deep consciousness of the ideals and goals of Pan-Africanism. Acting President, Honorable Members, the overarching vision of Agenda 2063 is to transform Africa quote, into the global powerhouse of the future, unquote. Whilst our numbers make us formidable in the world, and we possess the requisite resources, human and natural, needed for progress and prosperity, we still have some way to go towards realizing the objects of this noble agenda. Indeed,
The realities confronting our respective countries are those of guaranteeing accelerated sustainable development, the effective integration of our economies into the high end of the global value chain, the eradication of poverty and inequality, and the marginalization of our nations. If we are to succeed in these endeavors, our best bet is to be united. The off-cited Ghanaian proverb, one broomstick on its own can be easily broken, but put together cannot be broken, should be our guiding principle. The threats of climate change, the phenomenon of illegal mass migration, and the scourge of armed conflicts, terrorism, and violent extremism can be met head on and defeated if we act together. One thing the pandemic of COVID-19 has taught all of us is that we must hasten the process of regional and continental integration because acting together will boost our capacity to succeed. From our inability to make our own diagnostic tests to the scramble for vaccines and to the shocks our respective economies have suffered, resulting in a recession on the continent, it is obvious that we need each other and more so in combating the COVID-19 pandemic. We must encourage South Africa, Rwanda, Senegal, Ghana and others to develop the capacity to produce our own vaccines so that we can more effectively deal with future pandemics and not be dependent on foreign supplies and benevolence for the protection of our peoples. It's It is the accelerated economic integration of committed nations on the continent that will breathe new life into the African Union and develop the, deliver the benefits of African integration to the doorsteps of the African peoples. One critical instrument for the realization of this is the African Continental Free Trade Area, whose trading commenced on 1st January. Ghana has had the good fortune to be awarded the honor of hosting the Secretariat of the AFCFTA. Acting President, honorable members, we have always lamented the low volume of trade between the co countries on the continent, which currently stands at some 16% of our combined GDP. And then we all know that this is one of the areas in which we have to improve if we are to make progress in bringing prosperity to our peoples. Intra-regional trade in the European Union, for example, stands at 75% of theirs. It is my belief that the operation of the AFCFTA, comprising a market of some 1.2 billion people, with a combined GDP of 3 trillion United States dollars, marks a seminal moment in changing the way business is conducted among our nations. It provides the vehicle for us to trade amongst each other in a more modern and sophisticated manner and will give us protection on how we deal with other trading blocks. If you like more African speeches like this, make sure to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to catch all our latest videos. Remember to leave your suggestions on the topics you would like us to cover in the comments below.